Before we start, we have to take a moment to appreciate this cute, beautiful little cup. Look at that, guys. It's a painting by Gustav Klimt called The Kiss. And the first time I saw it, I was in primary school and I loved it painting ever since. And now I have a cup with that to drink my everyday morning coffee with it. Isn't the life about like little pleasures and a joy of simple, small things? enough of that back to today's topic thank you so much for coming back again to my channel that's so lovely of you I'm really happy today because as you can see I'm back at my home again and I always miss being at home because uh, like living in Middle East it's great but it's not home I never feel at home there I mean I do a little bit maybe I would feel more at home there if I spent more time but I'm half of the time I'm, I'm not even there Anyway, enough of that. So, uh, it's summer, holiday season is approaching, everybody is on a school break, uh, I mean families or people are taking leave to go to islands by the sea and fly and do all those things and meet me on board more often because that's where I live on board. So, um, I thought I'll give you a few tips of how to uh, prepare yourself for traveling uh, by plane and uh, that can be stressful if you don't do it every single day but here you have your girl who is professional traveler. It may be stressful and it's still kind of stressful for me when I travel as a passenger because it's like throwing you off your everyday routine and people do not think of so many things when they go on a plane and they are just like rushing through uh, get to the airport and it causes lots of stress and sometimes you need to take a minute and uh, remember about a few little things which if you will remember of them they will make your flight a breeze and so much easier rather than unpleasant experience. Number one, have a great crew around you. <laughs> I'm joking, not everybody has this luxury to travel with me on board but um, I mean my number one tip would be bring your own food and that is what flight attendant is telling you your own food although um, like there are some luxury airlines out there that offer really nice food I always do bring my own food because I'm gluten intolerant so I always have to have something gluten free and yeah there is an option to pre-order this type of food uh, before the flight but I'm always in fear for like maybe I witnessed situations like this with passengers that this order has not been processed and for some reason they didn't get their food and then if it's like a short flight one hour or two that's okay but if you're going for 14 hours flight even 8 or 10 don't risk it just bring your own food and you're good to go because food is everything another thing this is your best friend on the plane because I drink one of these every day, per day, one bottle. And on the plane, you should even drink more. Like drink, drink, drink non-stop. Because as we all know, airplane air is so dehydrating. It's so drying. It will dry you out. You will feel like you are a dried peach. Or what is this uh, thing? Um, you know, those things like uh, that come uh, from dried like sun dried tomato that's what i mean <laughs> like a grape that is dried that's what you're gonna end up if you don't drink enough water if we are talking about drinking this is a tip that i'm not very good to give you because i do that all the time which is don't drink alcohol <laughs> i do i always have a drink or two or okay enough um, but don't do that because if you want to wake up fresh if you want to um, be like um, hydrated, hydrated is that the word? I think it is. Or is my boyfriend to correct me? If you want to wake up fresh, hydrated and like feeling good, no hangover because the having alcohol on plane will give you the worst hangover, do not do that. Instead, try to get plenty of sleep so you wake up refreshed and ready to hit the town where you're going to. 
Another tip of mine is do not wash your face on the plane. Instead, just bring um, things like that. Makeup uh, removers. This is coconut simple cleansing wipes with coconut water or this one which are with detoxifying charcoal. Yeah, if you want to like extra clean, that would be good. If you are talking about moisturizing, sheet masks. Sheet masks is what is life saver when you are on a plane for longer. I always apply one when I travel as a passenger. Of course, I can't do that at work because I have to have a full face of makeup, but have one or have two if the flight is long. Always, I would recommend these under eye patches. You can have individual ones, individual ones like this, or like I have a whole bag. I think there is, yeah, there is a turkey inside. Those are Korean under eye things. And look at that. You have countless of them. I mean, not countless, 30. But you can have multiply application and they are very handy. They are keeping moisture. Lip masks as well. Those are, are from Sephora. They will keep your uh, lips like nicely plump because no one wants to get, end up with crusty lips after you get off the plane. If you don't, um, uh, another tip of mine, do not wear makeup. This is unnecessary. I see girls going on the plane like they are going to the club, like sometimes dress, high heels, full face of makeup and I think, girl. Now probably you are laughing at me, like who's talking? Well, I have to wear a full face of makeup because that's a requirement for work. And also I cannot um, afford that luxury of traveling the way I want to, like in a sweatpants. If I, if I could, I would do that. But we have a dress code, even traveling as a staff uh, on board the aircraft, so I can't do that. So I have to look somewhat decent, which doesn't always mean comfy. But yeah, do not wear makeup. Uh, hydrate your lips have like for example this is like by theory and this is a hydrating two things in one which is um, body lotion body lotion lip balm and um, it it also works as a gloss i don't really like the thing it's, it's very luxurious like the consistency is really nice and the smell but i don't like the thing that it has this tangling thing like there used to be back in the days those um Plumping lip balms. Is that do you like do you like that? Is that okay? Let me know. I don't like this tangling thing. I said do not wear makeup unless you want to meet your husband on the flight. But then personality is the key, isn't it? <laughs> so makeup doesn't matter anyway. Says someone who met a husband on the flight. So trust me. And um, yeah. If you have, if you want to try your interpersonal skills, talk to your girl or your boy at the counter, smile nicely and ask not to be given a middle seat. Don't take a middle seat. Try to avoid that as a disease. Have something warm. It's always freezing on the plane, always. It's like so cold that you regret you got yourself on that plane and not all of the airlines um, offer socks nowadays anymore so have your own socks have your maybe little blanket or a sweater or like um what is this a scarf that can double as a scarf or a pillow or whatever take that with you i don't really do that because i am resistant to all the bacteria and gems because that's i think um inbuilt in all flight attendants that nothing stick to me <laughs> after years of doing that job but i would highly recommend you to have a sanitizer with you because i've been on board and i've seen how cleaners clean those trays they do their best i'm not criticizing their job but there's not just like simply not enough time for them to clean everything like squeaky clean because this is the big plane 500 people get in there and imagine they have like sometimes 10 minutes to clean entire aircraft or maybe 15. They just wipe it. It's visually clean. But is it really clean? Not for me to judge. Make sure your phone battery is fully charged. Because if you are going to US, if you are transiting and you are going to US, if your phone battery is not charged, the travel might be denied. 
or your phone might be removed, taken away from you. Do not pack anything um, with lithium battery in a checked-in luggage because it can be offloaded. In general, I would recommend you not to take a check-in luggage. Just try to, I mean, I know it's impossible, but try if you can. Um, try just take a carry-on luggage. I know I'm asking impossible. But if you are taking carry-on luggage, I mean check-in luggage, no lithium battery inside. That's about with my tips. I'm not sure if I mentioned everything I should. I tried my best to tell you how I roll when I travel as a passenger. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I see you next time. Bye.